Hello. I wanted to explain something in a way that people that say these kinds of things can understand. It seems to be like you guys have a very hard time understanding how amendments work, which you are from Canada, so that could explain it. But I also know some people here in the United States, you guys just don't get it, so you might be a little slow. I want to help you understand exactly why we need the Second Amendment, and you can't just simply take it away. Hopefully your brain will comprehend why exactly you can't just command God-given rights away from people, especially when we need them to defend ourselves from people that our government will not prosecute and actually encourages, you know, like leaving our border open, not prosecuting criminals that are committing crimes in the first place. There's many examples of this. I'll show you so maybe your brain can catch up to your mouth and you'll understand exactly why we need the Second Amendment in the United States of America. And this is a Christmas candle so you feel nice and comfortable like this is a safe space, okay? All right, let's get started. What is the Second Amendment exactly? The Second Amendment is for us to protect ourselves, mostly from the government. That is why it was made in the first place. And yes, you can say that there wasn't assault rifles and blah, 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 but that still didn't disinclude cannons, cannonballs. Do you know how much damage that could do? You know, it counted. All of it counted. They took an account for times changing, okay? I know you think you're smarter than the founding fathers who wrote up these documents, but I assure you, they thought about this well in advance because Britain was trying to pull some shit, even though our government tries their damnedest to make us like Canada and Britain, but we're not gonna let that happen. You know why? <laughs> Second Amendment, that is like a God-given right, okay? They can't take it. They are mere humans. Whether you believe in God or not, doesn't matter. They are mere humans. And if you try to take that away, this is what's going to happen. This is us, the citizens. Oh, here's a chick. Okay, here's a dude. He got spiky hair. You know, he's just living his life. Say the government comes and they take all of our weapons. So no more gun. I can't draw, but this is a gun. No more for us. And what will happen? This is a criminal. Okay, he has crazy hair, he's on meth, he's fucking insane, look at that, he's crazy. And I used a gold marker, not black, because I know how you guys will be, oh that's racist, don't use a black marker. Oh, this is a criminal, he could be any color, he's gold. Guess what, he will still have a gun, and then we will have none, and then we get fucked in the ass. Because we can't protect ourselves from this guy who's still going to have the gun. He's not going to listen to the government. There's so many guns in circulation that he will be able to get one at any time. And then we are gonna be forced to go into that circulation of the black market and get one ourselves because our government, okay? They hate us and they want to take the second amendment so they can do whatever they want, even more so now. 1930s Germany, 40s Germany, that's exactly, they took their guns like, oh, we'll protect you, bull, shit. Ask the Jewish people how that went. The criminal will always still have the gun. We're gonna get fucked by the criminals and the government, which are the biggest criminals of all. You can go door to door and take them away from all of the good people who have them registered and they bought them, they got the permits, they got it all. It's for protection. They're gonna hand it in because they don't wanna get in trouble, but guess who's not? The criminals, there's still going to be a shitload of guns out there, except the people legally won't be able to have them. And then we're gonna be forced to be criminals because the criminals are still gonna have them. If we don't have the second amendment, we have no chance. Well, you guys have cognitive dissonance and you don't think our beloved government would ever do anything to hurt us, even though they do every single day, look around you. If there's one thing is worth fighting for, it is the second amendment. Because without that, you don't have any of the other amendments.